All right, The System and Revolution. It's a great book. Yes, I wrote it. That's why I'm saying it's great, but it is in fact a great book. Now, one of the important chapters in this book is called Beyond the Center. I want to talk a little bit about this. What do I mean by this? You see, there's a big narrative that we've all been taught that there's a center to everything. You know, you go back several hundred years, Galileo was the first one to say that the Earth is not the center of the solar system. Now, nothing really changed, right, when he said that. It's not like suddenly the sun became the center of the solar system. But what changed was that it set off a bomb within the regime of the Catholic Church because the religious hierarchy had told us that the Earth must be the center, humanity must be the center. But when Galileo said that the sun was the center of the solar system, it completely changed the entire paradigm because it was saying that maybe we were on the periphery, maybe humans were not so significant. But the interesting thing is, even though now we put the sun at the center of the solar system, we still have this notion in our head that there's centers to something. In fact, in the 50s, when DNA was discovered, the theory for the last 50 years up until 2003 was that DNA in the nucleus is the center of the cell. That if you have a gene for something, you're definitely gonna get a particular disease. So again, the DNA was the central thing that dictated everything else. But frankly, about 2003, when the Genome Project ended, what did we find out? We find out that genes are not who we are. In fact, we have the same number of genes as a worm. We don't have 100,000 genes. We have about 20,000 genes, the same as a worm does. So what we've now come to understand is there's a new field called systems biology, which is teaching us that it's not all about the DNA, but there's something more interesting. And in my opinion, what you really find out is that really cool things don't occur in the center, they occur in the periphery, in the edges. For example, innovation takes place in the edges. You know, email, and I know this person, wasn't invented in the center of the military. It occurred on the edges in Newark, New Jersey, in a poor, small medical college by a 14-year-old kid. In fact, great inventions occur at the edges. Great things, even at the cell periphery, take place. So the real point of beyond the center in systems and revolution is to teach you when you really look at nature, there is no center. And the really cool things occur in the edges by collectives of human beings solving simple problems in simple ways to help all of us. So read the book, The System and Revolution, and learn about the fact that there is no center. Have fun.